Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Wednesday, March the 30th, 2022, reading from Acts the 14th chapter, verses 18 through 28 and 15 through. Uh, the scripture for today is Acts 15 and 7, hear the word of the gospel and believe. And the only way that you can hear the word of the gospel is because somebody got to read it to you. Amen? In order for you to hear. So that's what I'm here to do. To read it so you can hear it and believe. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they the people that they had not sacrificed unto them. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Howbeit, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas and Derbe. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed. And after they had passed throughout Pisidia, they came to Pam, <laughs> to Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Italia, and thence sailed to Antioch, from whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door to the faith unto the Gentiles. And there they abode long time with the disciples. We say they got together and had testimony services. Okay, 15. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Now when therefore Paul and Barnabas had heard, had had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that God had done with them. But, 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 there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees, which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them, and commanded them to keep the laws of Moses. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, we know, how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And the and God, which knoweth my heart, the hearts, bear them witness, and giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. Then all the multitude kept silent and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders God had wrought among the Gentiles by them. And after they had held their peace, James answering, answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon hath declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles, to take out of them a people for his name, and to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written. After this I will return, and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things. Know unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my sentence is that we might, therefore, my sentence is 
that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they should abstain from pollutions of idols, and for fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. And Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Then pleaseth the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surnamed Bar Barsabas, and Silas, chief men among the brethren. And they wrote letters by them after this manner, the apostles and elders and brethren. And greeting unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, You must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seems good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you, with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. For it seemeth good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that ye abstain from meats offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which if ye keep yourselves ye shall do well. Fare ye well. So when they were dismissed, they came to Antioch, and when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the epistle, which when they had read, they rejoiced to the consolation. And Judas and Silas, being prophets, also themselves exhorted the brethren with many words and confirmed them. And after they had tarried their space, they were let go in peace from the brethren unto the apostles. Notwithstanding, it pleased Silas to abide there still, Paul also and Barnabas continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord, which many others also. And some days after, Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord, and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to, make, to take with them John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take him with him, who departed from them from Pam, Elia, and went not with them to the work. So Paul had a little, had a little um, difference with his brother. And he didn't want him to go with me. No, no. Okay, we'll start up here on 37. Because he, um, he parted with them. So they had some kind of difference. I mean, the devil's always busy. You trying to do the work of the gospel. And he could, he'll make... Cons con uh, he'll cause distension. He will cause offense. As our book that we have been reading before I went out was offense. Maybe the enemy didn't want y'all to hear that book. Maybe that's what's been going on. I'm going to have to meditate on that and talk to the Lord about it. All right, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We will be broadcasting across all of these social media platforms, so take them into account as we go into the uh, season back online, April the 1st, 2022. April the 1st, 2022, the Lord willing and delay is coming. We are Smurf, Smurf International Ministry. Smurf stands for 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers. That's 7-Minute Read Faithful Boat. I am Minister Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson. Any donation that the Lord lays upon your heart, and all I ask for is $7. But you can send 70, you can send 700, you can send 7,000. How about 700,000? Better yet, just drop off a sister 7 million. Sister McKenzie, what the little lady name? Uh, uh, Bezos' wife, McKenzie, I think. She giving out millions. Sister McKenzie, to get to Mama Pam, just drop me off 7 million. And Pamela Dobson, 0723 at gmail.com. That sister got billions of dollars. 7 million ain't nothing for her, Okay. <laughs> So pray she run across me. To God be all the glory. I love you all. Until the next read, God bless.